Hi, I'm CJ Brazel, and I'm here at the lovely Prune Yard in Campbell, California, and I'm getting ready to go upstairs and speak with Gabe Bodner, who is a mortgage professional with RPM Mortgage, about the changes going on in the lending market and how we can best help you. So let's go upstairs and see what we can learn. So I'm here with Gabe Bodner. He is a mortgage professional with RPM Mortgage here in Campbell, California. We're discussing some of the changes that are occurring in the lending market. And one of the things that we've been talking about is that it might behoove some of our clients to go ahead and find that house and do some holiday shopping a little bit early before these changes take uh, effect in January. And so we're talking about QM. Gabe, can you give me a little bit of background on what QM is and uh, how it's going to impact our buying clients? Sure, CJ. Well, QM is the newest, latest, and greatest acronym within the lending world, and uh, what it stands for is Qualified Mortgage. Qualified Mortgage is a directive down by the Federal Housing Finance Agency, and they determine what guidelines Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have for purchasing loans. So ultimately, um, QM and the largest impact that I see for our, our clients is uh, the debt to income ratio. Right now, a client can qualify up to around 49.9% debt to income ratio in some cases, but under QM, uh, the maximum debt to income ratio is going to be 43%. So again, this is going to limit somebody's uh, ability to qualify for something on the higher end potentially. Uh, and this goes into effect, by the way, January 10th, 2014. So as you said, if somebody wants to qualify uh, today, they don't have to necessarily qualify under the 43% the debt to income ratio, uh, but starting January 10th, 2014, they will. Additionally, under QM, some of the factors uh, or requirements or loan terms can't be greater than 30 years, uh, and no interest only loans, and no loans that uh, have growing equity. So, in other words, no negative amortization type loans. And then the other one that isn't necessarily a bad thing is uh, the cost and the fees of the loan can't be greater than 3% of the actual loan amount. So again, not necessarily a bad thing. The largest impact that I see for our, our clients is the 43% debt to income ratio that I already talked about. Um, so if somebody doesn't want to, uh, again, worry about that, they have up until January 10th. Uh, but don't be alarmed if you don't meet those requirements. There are going to be other lenders. RPM Mortgage is uh, going to be offering loans that don't meet QM. We do have investors and hedge funds uh, that we will be securitizing loans in the secondary market with. So again, there will be banks and lenders like RPM Mortgage who will offer loans that don't meet QM. So if you have any questions at all regarding QM or any other home financing uh, needs, please feel free to give me a call directly, 408-426-4416, and I'd be happy to help you with whatever questions you have. Great. Thank you, Gabe. Thank you, CJ.